Okay, guys, it's me, Amanda, Flea Market Haul, really quickly. I just got a bunch of stamp item, stamping items, and you can see some of the ink got on my fingers for five bucks, which I thought was a really great deal. So let me show you guys the items. First off, this set really caught my eye because it looks so pretty. I like the, the font on this. It says, Celebrate Friendship. Uh, thank you and love. And if you can tell, it said Stampin' Up on these. And I never knew about the Stampin' Up brand until recently when I started following some crafty people around town. Um, but Stampin' Up is actually pretty expensive. So you could say I got this for about a quarter <laughs> because, um, some of my items, three of my items, I asked the price, and it was three bucks. But the other items that I got, it was only two dollars for all of those items, and I got eight items in that two dollar uh, category. So it was only a quarter, if you do the math. That's how I like to think of it, at least. My mom would divide everything by, like, the five dollars, so everything would come out to cost a little more, but anyway... Next stamp set I got was this cool stamp squares from All Night Media. And it has just a bunch of little stamps. I think it's really cool because it's got a sun, a moon, a diamond, stars, money sign, dollar sign, well, a light bulb, mail, all kinds of things. And it even comes with a bonus stamp and a stamp pad. The bonus stamp is right underneath the stamp pad, and it's this little curly design embellishment that's really cool. And I got this set, also in the same line, just all of the al alphabet and numbers 1 through 9. And I, feel, I find it kind of weird that they didn't include the 0, but I guess you could just use the O as a 0. And again, it comes with a little stamp uh, pad in the four primary colors. And the bonus stamp is a little to and from stamp. So that's really cool. Then I... Ooh. I'm having a little trouble putting it back. Got some stamp pads. Metallic encore stamp pad. I just thought it was really cool that there were metallic inks available. I just never knew because I got into stamping recently. And I haven't really used stamps for that much yet. It's Enchanted Evening. So this was about a quarter. These are really cool, elegant colors. These two little stamp pads from Studio G. This one is this really nice green color. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know, celery, I guess. And then this one is unopened. It's kind of a wine, deep red, kind of almost a blood red. So this, I really like this color. It's really pretty. And these stack. That's cool. I would have gotten more, but I was telling myself, don't buy too much. You don't have a ton of money. Uh, but it was such a great deal. I should have just pretty much bought everything. But I have this Distress Ink uh, tea dye. It's brand new. I don't know how much this is, but I'm assuming it's worth a lot more than a quarter. And I like distressed things. Never really thought to distress stuff myself, but one day I'll use this. And for the price, you can't beat it. Got this set of clear stamps from Studio G. It's this thing, oh wait, all kinds of thanks on the bottom, a little arrow, and a little wheel of thanks in different languages, so I thought that was really cool. And the next three stamp sets I got are from Stampology, from the Autumn Leaves brand, and these are all uh, in the same set. Ooh, let me get something to hold behind that. 
in the same mail set. So this one is just all the alphabet plus a question mark, an and sign, and a little postage squiggle stamp. And what's cool about these is that they have words within each Sorry, I'm trying not to have glare, but I can't really see what's going on with the camera because I have this piece of paper in front of it, but, yeah. So, for A, there's amazing and adorable, B, best and beautiful, and so on and so on. Just two different words for every letter. And in this stamp set, I'll just hold my hand this time. Uh, there's 19 in this, and there was 29 in this. Uh, this one, again, looks like mail. It says stuff like best friends forever, happy at home, always together, far, far away, you are my reason to be. So a lot of these are really geared towards scrapbooking, because I wouldn't use most of these on a card, unless, I guess, to my best friends or significant other or whatever. Um for the price, I thought these were really cool. And then finally, this set here, there are 18, and there's two sheets. It says things like always beautiful, always playful, always together, and there's space in the middle to write something. And again, there are spaces to write something in these little boxes. And this set is called Always and Forever Seals. And this set was called Alphabetically Sent. And this set was called Postmarks. I also got two more items that aren't stamp related. Um, I don't feel like I have to show you guys because it's just boring stuff, and I just wanted to show the great deal I got on all of this stuff. It looked like somewhat, this is my thought, I don't know if this is true, but this stuff definitely did not originally belong to the sellers who were selling the items. A lot of people at the flea market buy things from storage lockers, for example, that you know, were auctioned off, or they shop at estate sales. I think this is one of those things because my very first reaction when I saw all of this stuff was somebody died and their children sold off their entire crafting collection because there were just two big drawers, uh, or five drawers and two sets, so there's ten drawers total just filled with random craft supplies and all the stuff I just showed you guys was in one drawer. And there was a lot more stuff, but I was, like I said, trying not to spend too much. But retail, I, I think that this stuff costs at least 30 bucks total. So I got an, I got a steal today. But then, you know, sometimes you think, I shouldn't buy it because I don't need it. But then when you, when you walk away, when you can't go back and get the item, when it's kind of too late, you think, well, I really should have just bought that item. I shouldn't have overthought it. I shouldn't have had all of those worries. I should have just bought it. But yeah, if I see the seller again tomorrow, I might pick up a couple more things, especially stamp pads. I don't have um, many stamp pads. All I have is just one black stamp pad before I got these. So I'd love to have some more colors. Maybe some more stamps. I to probably spend a good 5-10 minutes looking at all these stamp items, but there might be some more that I missed that were really cool. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Go find some deals. I'm not, I'm not saying that as a command necessarily, but if you want to, I hope you go find some deals. Over the summer, there are a lot of garage sales happening, so I hope you guys find luck there, and I'm just going to shut my yapper, and I'll see you guys next time.